The dolly zoom effect, first seen in 1958 in Hitchcock's Vertigo, has been copied many times, appearing in films such as Jaws, Apollo 13, and my favourite implementation, Hooper's 1982 classic horror flick, Poltergeist. The effect is created by adjusting the zoom on a lens, altering the field of view, while the camera moves towards or away from a foreground object, ensuring that this object remains the same size throughout the clip. This is the effect of making the background appear to change size relative to the object. Dolly Zoom is back in the spotlight with the release of DJI's drone, the Mavic 2 Zoom, which incorporates an automatic fly mode to create the effect. It can be created without the use of a zoom lens in post-production, and today I'm going to show you how to achieve this effect with any camera or drone footage using DaVinci Resolve 15. For source files and links, check out the description below this video. So, without further ado, let's get started. Open Resolve and give your project a name. To begin the workflow, you'll need to import your clip, so head over to the Media section and locate it. Once the clip is added and available in your media, move over to the Edit section. If you double-click the clip, it will display in the preview window, allowing you to review it. As you can see here, the easiest shots to work with are those where you're moving directly towards an object. Also, ensure you film in the highest resolution afforded by your recording device. Now drag the clip onto the timeline, and while selected, press Ctrl and C on your keyboard to copy the clip. Move the red positioning bar in the timeline to a place after your clip, and right click this empty area, selecting paste. Using the blade tool, slice the last frame of this clip. Go back to the select mode and drag this sliced frame above your original clip at the start. Select what is remaining from the copied clip and delete it. We don't need that anymore. With your clip selected at the last frame, add a keyframe locking both the zoom and position transform options. Now select the frozen frame we created earlier and move the red timeline bar to the start of the clip. Move the opacity down to a value where you can see both the frozen frame and the start of your clip below. I usually find a value of around 35% works best. Select your clip and now alter the zoom and position variables in the transform section to match the size and location of the foreground object. You're never going to get it 100%, just take your time, play with them and adjust these values until you get a good approximation. Be sure to either delete the frozen frame or set its opacity to zero before your final render. And that's it, the dolly zoom in a few clicks. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some use out of it. Cheers and goodbye.